Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is February the 5th. It's a Monday. So happy Monday. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I wanted to hop on here real quick and share with you all the things I made this past week. Uh, it's not as much as I've been making, but I just had kind of a rough week this week. Um, like mental health wise, you know, I'm just not feeling it. And also we ended up being super busy this weekend with the kids. So we weren't expecting it to get so nice and pretty here in Middle Tennessee. It's kind of spring weather. Uh, I'm sure another little winter is going to come two or three of them <laughs> but it was really nice this weekend so we ended up going to parks and stuff and being out as much as we could and we had a lot of fun anyways all of these are instagram patterns except one and they're all made with chunky yarn except that one so first is uh a frog cat <laughs> i made this as part of a collaboration i'm doing with some other youtubers and i'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it but it's for leap year and this is a free YouTube tutorial by Shirley Designs Things. And it's just a uh, frog hat. <laughs> but it's really cute. I made it with Red Heart yarn and some scrap yarns. But it's probably all Red Heart to be honest. Uh, I believe I used a 5mm hook or a 5.5. I can't exactly remember <laughs> which one I used. But um, it's cute and it worked out pretty quick. I wish I had stabilized these eyes a little bit better. But other than that, it's fine. Um, but it, it's adorable. I love it. So I made that hat. I'll leave it linked below. Like I said, it's a video tutorial. She does chat a lot in the video, which is kind of weird because most video tutorials, you know, they don't pop up in chat. But it's still a good tutorial. Either way, I like her tutorial. All right, now the rest of these are all on Instagram. <laughs> and uh, I, I use a lot of Instagram patterns because with the chunky yarns, there's a lot of free Instagram patterns. A lot of people take and use the chunky yarns and the patterns to go to craft markets and I just happen to find a bunch of people on there who shared them so I just use a lot of their uh, patterns so first of all I did make three more of the possums they don't have eyes yet I did sit down yesterday and weave in all the ends and so on all the pieces of the ones that needed that so I made three of the possums I technically made these last week but I finally finished them this week by sewing on their tails and their little ears these are made with velvet yarn from Hobby Lobby it's yarn be something but I can't remember wait I think I have a ball bag right here velvety smooth <laughs> yarn be velvety smooth um and i have officially used up every bit of this yarn that i purchased except the black so i'm actually real excited about that that's one reason i have all these little things about to use because i was trying to use up those last little bits of yarn but these little possums is a free pattern on instagram by rumble underscore crochet and i love this pattern and i made these in worsted weight at my christmas market last year and they all sold except one and then that last one sold in my etsy shop so i think people love the little possums I guess they're called opossums, but around here we just call them possums because I know possum is actually a different animal <laughs> and they look completely different than these cute little opossums, but still, everybody calls them possums, <laughs> but they're adorable. I love them. The little legs are worked into the pattern and then you do have still on the ears and the tail. And I guess if you were proactive or whatever, you could make the ears and tails first and then crochet them in. I keep thinking that and then I keep making them and forgetting to do that. But, I mean, it's not too bad to sew them. But they're adorable. But I can't remember the yarn colors. It's a black and ivory, silver. I don't remember the pink color, but it's, it's a pretty pink color. Anyways, those are my little possums. They do got to put eyes on them, like I said. Little beady eyes, because they have little beady eyes. Alright, next is my chubby axolotl. This, again, is an Instagram pattern. This I was using up those yarns from that possum. You can't see it good. He's got little legs. And he does need a face. I need to put eyes and uh, like a smile or something. I don't know. I think he's pretty cute. I made this while watching Little House on Prairie one day. <laughs> uh, he's a chunky little boy. I don't remember. Most of these are made with a 5 millimeter hook. And this yarn I think is a 5. Yeah, it's a 5 bulky. But I think it's cute. He's made with the ivory and the pink that I can't remember the color of. I feel like it's like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. But he's a little chunky axle. He's going to be real cute once his face is on there. Then I made um, two of the heart friends, but with one I didn't have enough yarn to make the legs. So the red one I made completely. This is with that velvet yarn that is red. Its color is called red. <laughs> it's kind of boring. but um, So he's completely made. I just need to put face on him. Uh, his little arms and legs. I think I did do the arms and legs differently. Because on the pattern, he has like little fingers. And I just, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> so I just did like a little cluster stitch up here to uh, give him like a hand, you know. But uh, anyways, and then this is the pink one. I ran out of yarn for legs. And the, the arms are much shorter 
<laughs> because I was like the last arm I just barely had enough to attach it to the heart <laughs> but uh, so he th those both need faces and that's a free pattern by mom stichetti <laughs> on um, Instagram then I made a chonky bear I made some of these in worsted weight at that last craft fair and one of them sold at the craft fair and I think the other one sold in my Etsy shop um, he's white it's hard to see the details because of the whiteness and the light <laughs> but he's just a cute little chonky bear and he's gonna have face too. He's got a little tail. He is a no sew pattern except the ears that you have to sew them on. And again, I'm sure if you pre planned it, you could probably crochet them in somehow. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he's cute. He's gonna be cute with a little face. And I'm actually glad to be done with this yarn because I don't really like the velvet yarn that much. I like the blanket top yarn better. Alright, the next is octopuses. And they're all slightly different <laughs> because I was running out of yarn while I came them. Okay, so I know this one is a free pattern that's not on Instagram. I can't remember who it's by, but it will be linked below this. I'll name it like the Baker Octopus. Um, it's on a web, it's on a blog, but I can't remember now what blog it is. I forgot to write it down. But this is with the pink. So I made him, and this took up the rest of the pink. Actually, I think this was the last thing I made with the pink. Yeah, because this is the arms. I made this little guy. And I was going to make a bunch of octopuses, and then I realized I had a big chunk left, so I was like, well, I'll make one with hearts, and then I almost ran out. <laughs> but I did finish off the pink with those two. And then the ivory, I made this little octopus. This is this pattern, but it's altered, because I only had a little bit of this. So it has the same type of legs that he does. Um, but it's altered. And then I made three little, <laughs> and they just kept getting littler uh, octopuses. These are Instagram ones. This one is called the Mini Octopus by Crazy Crochet Corner. And these two are the same pattern, but this one's smaller, I think. One of them's smaller. This one's smaller. I can't tell. <laughs> one of them's smaller than the other. Um, and they're also called Mini Octopus, but it's a different pattern, pattern by Crochet Critters by MJ. It's a really small one. It's, I made a uh, green one, too, and like a bright green is in that posh yarn. Um, I wanted to use up these scraps, and plus I want some little tiny things like this. I'm going to put some little eyes on these uh, to offer for just a couple bucks for people who have kids who want something and maybe don't have a lot of, like, extra, you know, frivolous money to spend. Um, or people with multiple kids, because, like, I grew up in a multiple kid family, and there's no way my mom could have took us to a craft fair and bought us each a $20 stuffed animal, because that would have been, like, $100 plus dollars dropped right there, you know. So I want to offer a bunch of little things so that if there's a family with three or four kids, they can each get a little something without breaking the bank. So I do plan on making a bunch of little thingies. I thought about doing that claw machine thing, but I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to disconnect a speaker because it's annoying as heck, the song that it plays over and over and over again. And, um, you know, most, all the ones I've seen people do that, they charge like $10 a turn and you, you know, you play until you get something. Um, but I don't, you know... I don't, I don't want to take advantage of a kid wanting to play a claw machine and them overpay for something like this that I don't think is worth $10. Like, I would never pay $10 for an octopus that took someone 10 minutes to make. <laughs> but, I don't know. I, I don't want to rip people off, is what I'm saying. So, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm just going to offer some little cheap things in case there's some kids, you know, families with a bunch of kids and stuff. But, anyways, that's what I've been working on this week. I didn't touch Devin's afghan at all. Um, I actually almost did last night, but I was just so tired. <laughs> we, we were out, I mean, it was like five o'clock and I, me and Devin was both ready for bed. <laughs> we were out playing and stuff and we were tired. Um, so, and now that this velvet yarn is gone, except the black, I do need to still make stuff out of the black. I don't know, maybe I'll try to make a spider or something, that'd be cute. Um, or some little bears, some little black bears would be cute too. Uh, use that up and then I'll be done with that burn, or not burn, out, yarn be velvet smooth yarn this actually needs to go in the container that you're on because i used it up i keep my ball bend laid out here until i use up the whole um complete ball and then i put it in a container that you guys are sitting on so i can see how many ball bends i used out the year i like doing that it's just a fun thing to do and uh there's already stuff in there so i'm pretty excited about that but anyways i guess that's all i'm going to share with you for right now in this video because that's all i've been working on it is a good little hunk of stuff. It's just, I'm tired of seeing these colors. <laughs> these same colors. It's kind of getting old. So, I do still have a scrap ball of this, um, Bernat Posh I need to use up. And then I got pink and, like, a uh, peach color of that I want to start using to make some animals. 
I want to make some more of these brontosauruses. This is also an Instagram pattern in those other two colors. So maybe I'll work on that this week. And I, I still, like, all these are got to go in this bag over here of animals that need eyes and faces and stuff. So some of them will have felt eyes. Some of them I might stitch on eyes. Like these littler ones, I probably will do uh, stitched on eyes. Uh, these little possums are going to have little felt eyes. So I got to put them all in that bag. And then I need to sit down one day when I have plenty of time to sit in here and watch videos and do it. And put faces on all these little guys. <laughs> I found some more bunny patterns that I want to make, but I feel like I already made a bunch of bunnies. And I still want to make some more of those peeps. And, uh, I don't want to have a ridiculous amount of bunnies. I know it's at Easter Market, but, um, I don't want my table to be covered in bunnies. I want there to be, like, a good selection for people. My hat right there, so I can wear that in my frog videos. But anyways, all that will be linked below. If you want to check any of it out, go for it. And if you make anything and you want to share it with me, feel free to. I would love to see your finished objects. You can share them with me on my Facebook group, my email, or my Instagram, which are all always linked below. Or if you have your own YouTube channel, let me know in the comments and I will come over and check it out. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and find something to start getting into before the babies wake up. My kids are not babies, but I still call them babies. They're my babies. My son's almost eight and my daughter just turned two. She's still a baby. Um, but still, I call them babies. It's just... What I do. But anyways, I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.